Hey guys, welcome to Feed Your Brother. We're going to be starting with a basic breakfast, bacon, eggs, and some potatoes. Alright, I've got my egg pan here, heating up with a little bit of bacon grease. Do some bacon layout, and I've already seasoned some potatoes with some garlic, salt, pepper, oregano, and thyme. Got our eggs all whisked up. You're going to start off by laying your bacon out in a, in a pan. And I'm going to add the potatoes to the side of the little pan, and I'm going to put it in a toaster oven. Takes about 15 minutes. Should have great bacon and the potatoes should be roasted. I did par cook the potatoes yesterday, so they're already cooked. Makes it a lot quicker. Usually if you don't cook the potatoes at a time, it's 45 minutes after you get them all cubed up like this. So, put them in a toaster oven. You're back here. Got the bacon and potatoes. Look gorgeous, just out of the toaster oven at 375 degrees. Get our pan warm again. Bacon fat melted. That was about 15, 20 minutes. I like my bacon a little floppy, but some people like it crispy. If you want it crispy, go ahead and burn it for 30 minutes. We're going to cook our eggs slow. We've already whisked them up nice, frothy. We're going to season them with a little crushed red pepper, black pepper, and I got some Himalayan, Himalayan sea salt over here. I'm going to use at the end. You don't really want to season eggs with salt right before you, unless you right before you cook them. The salt kind of breaks down the proteins. You want to wait till the end and season them. Then we've got our Pan heating up here. Remember I put a little bit of bacon fat in here. Coat that up. And we're talking about tongs, you can use them to stir. Pour that in. on a medium heat. I really want people to pay attention to really how long does this take. You see everybody cook scrambled eggs super fast and they get these nasty little crumbly curds. You also notice I didn't add any liquid to that. It is just great fresh eggs whipped seasoned with the seasonings. You I like, and it's gonna be nice and slow. And it's been about 45 seconds and you can start to see it build some solids around the edges. You'd be tempted to stir this around, just wait. And you're waiting, seeing some bubbles. That's still good. It's still okay to leave it alone. Still want to get that crust to form all the way around the edge. Pop that little bubble and I'll just push one side in. Scrape your sides down. Don't worry about it. The difference you'll see in these eggs is they're going to be nice, silky, Sexy folds are not going to be little crumbly pieces ending up on a plate. So now you're just going to fold those in a little bit more. Now if the pan's getting a little hotter, you can hear a little sizzle. I've turned it down to medium from heating it. 
Let's see these folds here. Now you can move them around a little bit more. Get your liquid underneath. All right. Now we got some scrambled eggs. Well, that'll keep cooking. So we're going to salt it down the pan. Plate it over here. And that'll keep cooking. Turn the burner off. Right. See how beautiful the eggs look? Creamy, nice full of folds. You got our nice bacon here. Now I like it soft, floppy. Remember to save your bacon grease. Oops, losing one, that's still fine to eat. All right, here we have scrambled egg breakfast, easy to make. Feeding your brother. Scrambled eggs, bacon, potatoes. Takes about 15 minutes. Great way to start your day. Questions or comments, leave them below. Please hit uh, subscribe and like, and we'll see you later on Feed Your Brother. Good night.